This week, Garen and Ellie work to get the engine started for the sand rail. We stucco and paint a small outbuilding and bake some homemade dog treats. We have this little brown house. Well, I don't know why we always call it a house. Well, I think it's because when we were really little, so it's like a house to us, but it's just really just like a shack. <laughs> it is. When we first moved here, it was the least of the dilapidating buildings. But we put a new siding on it. And Gary put in a ceiling and a skylight and a new roof on it. It became his office because he worked from home when we first moved out here. Back when we were living in that trailer. Office slash laundry room. <laughs> yes. If you come around here, you will see it has laundry things and a little air conditioner was in. But now, it's kind of falling apart. Of course, when we moved over to the little house that we're in now, that's been just a storage building. Now that it's just been sitting there and we've been ignoring it, the siding we put up is just, it's wavy. It's doing the wave, but in a not great way. It's gotten pretty wah, wah, wah. When we first moved out here, wood was just a typical thing that we would work with. Yeah. But we would move. never wood now. No. Let me give you the dish. <laughs> I'm gonna take that dish off the side of the brown house. Hey, what's going on? Turn off this satellite. Are we just gonna let it crash? Oh, oh. Let it crash. I, I didn't Before know. that, we had dial up. We got this, we we're very excited. We're just hoping it doesn't crash on us. We don't know how heavy it is. Can you just yank it out? What else you do? Oh, I bet Bryce will make something fun out of that. What I really like about building these types of vehicles, full-size car, you, there's a lot of complex things going on. With these, it's just the engine, and because it's old, it's it's a simple engine. We got the shocks all painted. I got the front ones on. I did not put the rear ones on yet because they were going to be in the way. When Garen was working back there with the wiring. And I think the hardest part about doing a build like this is we're tearing it down to the bare minimums and almost nothing on the frame and repainting. It's taken all apart, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming with all of it disassembled. When you go to reassemble it, it's kind of like, where do we start? Yeah, <laughs> you hard know? to remember where everything was. It comes together, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to for a little bit. I got all the fan shrouds on, the fan on, and all the cool little green bits that Ellie painted. They look so good on there. All the other auxiliary things that had to go on, like oil filter, the generator, plumbing the gasoline, putting the gas tank on, just a lot of little stuff to get the engine to where it can be started. So when we were putting the transmission in, this boot right here ripped, so I had to replace it. It was pretty simple. Fixed our broken parts. I got into doing engines, I think when I was 13. It's really intriguing, just being able to take them all apart and put them all back together. It's a broken puzzle, and you gotta go in and figure out what's wrong with it, fix it, and then put the puzzle back together. And there's so many parts that a lot of times you have to just guess and see how they go back together, look up different things, because there's no way of remembering where it all goes your first time. <laughs> I haven't stopped since. There's always a new engine and always a new problem. <laughs> And we got the shifter cable on. It went really smoothly. Garen fixed this little piece here and drilled out this box. That was all broken and like wonky. Yeah. Shift linkage works. It shifts now. Now we can go forward. Yeah, we need a clutch. Yeah. And then it'll work even better. We're just gonna get it ready so that we can put the air compressor in. Uh, we still have the oven. Thanks for your suggestion on the oven because we did keep the oven and we're gonna use it for powder paint. So that will sit in there as well. The hoop barn is right over here. So it's going to house some of our equipment like the air compressor and the welder. And there is a power pole on the back side here. This is the power pole that went to the old house where the hoop barn sets now. We're going to put stucco over it, kind of secure it down. This is the first legitimate application that we've used the chicken wire on. True. So this has been kind of a little bit of a new ordeal for us. Just want to say, just, just for the record, we're very unexperienced with putting chicken wire on. We tried nailing, you know, the chicken wire on. And Wood is so old and hard. Bryce is going to help us put together a staple gun. And we're going to do this 21st oh, no. century style. Because it good. reach? Yeah. It's times like this that we appreciate. Modern technology. Yes. Did good, it went right in. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be so much faster. <gasps> Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. You can't stuck a wood without mm -hmm. that stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. Yeah. You know, the cool part is too, Shay, look at there's already stucco on some of this. Sand has been acquired. 
we have unlocked the ability to sand. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. That's for certain. It kind of just like sticks. You don't really have to coax it. <laughs> Which is nice uh, for such a straight incline. I'm so versed on the other stuff, I feel like I can bang it out. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to this particular kind, but that's okay, because we're making it work. You're gonna just sit there, then I get to play. <laughs> He's Probably. trying to help you out. Are you gonna help? Oh. Is that the plan? Yeah. Oh, guys, add some dirt to it and you will be in love. Oh, mom. What? What have I'm you done? A mess. You're doing fine. Mess, Chip. What am I gonna do, Chip? Could you save me? So there's this tree that's sitting right next to the thing we're cobbing. Hole there's a hole. And we found this. Hidey hole from our younger years. And the zipper does not work. Oh, Neither oh, does oh, the knife. Maybe it's a treasure map. Oh, we so would have. We actually buried things on our property. Sorry. There we go. Oh my. What's on here though? What's on this? It's a bunch of islands with names. This is mine. I made a map of some unknown land. So mm. it is a treasure map. It's just to a non-existent land, which is mildly I don't see disappointing. A cross anywhere. Maybe that was the X. We used to use these as fake Currency. money. When we, were younger. we were buyers and traders. We first tried making these lead coins. We experienced inflation, quite a bit of it, because we had a lot of lead. Yeah, you just could just make money marbles. whenever you wanted and it wasn't as fun. family has sent in their dog treat recipe and we are going to give it a shot. Do you want are some you dog treats? Are you ready for some dog treats? Do you treats? want some dog treats? Huh? Are you ready? I th as pugs, I believe that they're always ready for a treat. You eat it raw, wouldn't you? Oh, look, yeah, you don't even need yeah, it fixed down. up. She's down. She's, she's like, down. whatever, she's I'll take like the sure. raw ingredients. <gasps> We're gonna let them go play, and we are gonna make them a tasty treat. So I've assembled all of our ingredients here. We've got four cups of Rice Krispies, just like the plain crispy rice. rice crispy cereal. Okay, so we've got a cup of peanut butter. You wanna get us in there? And a spatula. You're probably already familiar. When dogs eat peanut butter, it's usually pretty funny. It's <laughs> one of those entertaining for humans. Why we literally have toys to watch them try and dig peanut butter out of stuff. Yeah, it's just too funny not to. Oh yeah, nice and creamy, smelly, very smelly. Peanut but it's very potent, but in a good way. We also have a small can, which I was informed this is the small can. I was like, Mom, isn't a small can like half the size? She said, cans are really big, so this is actually a small can. So if you're like me, a non-pumpkin understander. Okay. I made a, a fatal mistake. Oh no! I tried to rub the peanut butter off underwater and I forgot that it was greasy and now I'm a slime. No. I got peanut a butter is really difficult to get off glasses. Here. My life just flashed before my eyeballs. <laughs> it looks like yam. Now that we've got our ingredients, our three ingredients, nice and simple, we're gonna give it a good mixy here. Oh yeah. You know, I got a feeling that if you taste this, you wouldn't know it's dog food, then, and we're gonna put them back in, what, what? It's pretty good too. <laughs> like, hmm, this is an interesting snack. Do you think I could have some arm swinging room? Oh, right here? Yeah, like, do you think, do you think, think that maybe, maybe like right think, there is where yeah, you would need? Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, perfect, I love it. One of the cool things I think about this recipe, you don't have to cook it. We can make all year round because, you know, popping on the oven in the middle of summer when it's, you know, 100 degrees outside, it's just, it's unfortunate for the coolers. So all we have to do here now, put this stuff here. The smushies. We get the smushies. It's a nice orange color. It really is. Animal I think orange. maybe this is a tad big. I might have overestimated the amount of ingredients here, but we're just gonna, gonna do it half. Like next time we'll go for a smaller one there. The dogs don't even know what's gonna mm, hit them right now. It smells really good. We should let them lick the spapula. Oh yeah, give them a, a small taste of what's to come. Now that that's all sloppered on, we're gonna chuck this in the freezer for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna pull it back out again. Okay, we shut the door. Chip, oh, Chip, look at him. He's already, his tongue's out. You guys ready for like the best thing ever? Oh, oh, she's going all in. Oh, oh, you too, all in. Oh yeah, baby. Aw, oh, sharing is caring. You always can tell if a pug really likes something because their eyes start bulging out of their heads and that's exactly what's happening right now. They're so cute. All right. I think they like this whole process already. They're, they're really loving it.
again playing with different consistencies taking stuff out of our ground but it's all coming out really hard this is hard this is hard all right we're making a camel house I want it to blend into the scenery one drawback to the chicken wire being a glasses wearer and just a face <laughs> It would fling back wait, wait. at you. You're the glasses and I'm the face. Yeah, if you were stuck in it, it would fling back at you, which was a, a new experience for us. And it usually either got really close to the eye or right in the eye. Yeah, we're just like right there and you're just <laughs> like, that's just not gonna work out for me. Business and a plowy, you get a, a mouthful of cop. Talking, you might wanna refrain. Leah showered us with gifts and she got us one of these really spiffy tools. Thank you so much, Leah, for all your gifts and for this one specifically, because this is my favorite one. Fantastic. Mudding our lives away. Our goal is to get this done this week. And nobody wants this to last too long. We might be calling in some backup. Also, my dog got stung by a red ant. Uh, there's not much we can do for him. It's just so sad. Hey, Chippy, how's your foot doing, buddy? Your foot better. Yay. He was kicking around and now he's not. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Hey, there's some more red ants, buddy. Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> It has been 20 fabulous minutes. Dogs have officially licked everything clean too, so that's good. They don't even know what's coming. So here we go. So here they are. And we have small dogs, so we're gonna cut these up into small little cubes. Niblets, that's the official sizing term. Well, nibble size, but it's a niblet. That would be the definition, would be niblet size. So we're gonna take these little things, probably put them in a bin. Should we try feeding them to the dogs that are yeah. ready? Lulu. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, down the hatch. Dog approved, definitely. Did you see that excitement? Luna has Good proved stuff. this message. After you're done cutting them all up, then you store them in the freezer, so they're just real easy. If you'd like to make these dog treats, the Ford's Family recipe will be down in the description below, and along with a link to the Ford Family's website. They've written a book and all kinds of wonderful stuff. You can check that out. Thank you, Ford Family, for allowing us to share your fabulous dog recipe as well. We really appreciate it. Our pets send their appreciation yes. and love. Very very much so. Thank you so much. It has bloomed. Oh. There is nothing more vibrant than cactus flowers. They're amazing. Nobody stepped on them yet, and boy, would that be a rude surprise if you did. It's very tiny. Darren and Ellie have come to help us, come to save the day. I don't know how much day saving we're doing. I'm not really moving very fast. Hey, this is looking good, isn't it? Look at Garen, he's so professional. Yeah. And green. Is that sweat on his back? Probably. Whoa, he's working hard now. It takes a lot of energy to sit down. Dude, it takes a lot of energy to sit down, huh? Is it my wrinkles that makes me look older than her? I want to, for the record, <laughs> I am the eldest. <laughs> I am young, I have lots of life left. She is old. <laughs> Only by two years, but I am older. <laughs> People who meet me and Bree always think I'm older than she is. Or maybe I'm just epically mature. So how does this order go then? Okay, the order goes me, Darren, Bryson, Shay. The okay, age. now where's Ellie fit though? Yeah, Ellie is three months older than me. Ooh, I should have said that about the old thing. <laughs> what? Ellie's just over there working away. The white bucket and the orange lid does not go together. Aesthetics, Brie. Okay. He's so worried about aesthetics, and yet he puts that face on our video. You want to go? <laughs> I, I can't hit another girl. Ellie, I need some backup. That's why I married her. She's the perfect weapon. <laughs> well, I think that's the last of it, isn't it? You got this side. Yes. That was fun having them here, huh? Bro? Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Always makes the work more enjoyable. More people to talk to, more hands. Working, get twice as much done. Nice to have. So thank you, Garen and Ellie. Really helped. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your help. Really got a bunch done. It is mostly put together. The wiring was a bit of a struggle because I've never done it before. Just a new learning curve I had to take and did some research. It was a good one to start on because it could not get any simpler than this build.
You have to buy a key for it and a couple more switches in order to finish and finalize all this stuff. But right now, this is our ignition. So it's like turning the key into the run position. Hook those bad boys up. Don't use this information to steal this, by the way. We're gonna have secret traps wired into it. Bryson's got a whole plan. And then we just tip this red button right here. This is the start button. Here we go. Engine started up, first try, little starter fluid in there because the, the fuel system has to prime. But as soon as the fuel system primed, it started and ran really pretty good to do some carburation adjustments in order to get this thing purring like we want it. Very close right now. These builds are really fun because they, they look trash when you get them and when you get to fix them all up, paint them and creating something from a pile of junk. It's really fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still gotta do, like I said, a few little adjustments. It is a runner and a roller, almost. We still have to fix the rear tires. We had to buy some more parts to do that. Brakes, those are important. Throttle, clutch, little things. But it is really close and it's coming along great. We're just about ready for our first test drive. Week? Hopefully, that's our goal. Next week is the first cruise. I think we're gonna get there. I have, I have a lot of faith. As you've heard us refer to this thing many numerous times, we call it the brown house. And so when we tell people that they don't know that this was originally the brown house, we'll say, oh, it's in the brown house. And they'll look everywhere. And we've got a lot of buildings on the property. We'll have to remember that it's the mint. turquoise mint green house. The eaves brown. This is uh -huh. like makeup, but the type of makeup that doesn't quite match your skin. It just kind of looks like somebody cut and paste a face onto your head. A weird explanation, but like, go on. <laughs> <laughs> our friend Anime, she's come to help us on our painting journey. Uh -huh. She's been with us before. I came here for the sole purpose of painting the brown house. Exactly. <laughs> that was, that we were like, hey, we need help. And she's like, I got you. I she like, hops in the car, drives in. eight hours, and is like, I'm here to help you paint this tiny little building. <laughs> yep. For all, it was yep. a small building. It didn't take long. It, it's a good little building. It and, looks a little um, funky, but it's, it's functional. I yes. don't think we were looking to make something pretty. I'm not really uh, crazy about that color. It's interesting. It, it lives <laughs> on its own out there. Um, it doesn't really blend into the, into nature. No, it's going to stick out kind of like a sore thumb. That's okay. Okay. I'm thinking it's people done. who drive by the property will be like the only thing people see when they drive by. Pretty First, much. How many people drive by? Like two cars every... Yeah, we're good. I think we're Gooch. We're Gooch for the neighbors. Really appreciate you hanging out with us this week. The t-shirt design of the week is going to be brown house, but it's not brown. This design and all the other designs that we've done in the past will be over in our merch shop. The link will be down in the description if you'd like to check it out. Make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell button. YouTube sends you a little notification, so it's kind of cool. And you can keep up to date as to what's new uh, that we're doing here. So be sure to tell your, your neighbors and your friends and your enemies. Thanks so much for being a part of our family, and we'll catch you next Friday. Bye! Thank you! We shouldn't worry about it because when do we ever send anyone out to the brown house? Well, I know, but we could make an effort now just for fun. Oh, we could put like, oh yeah, lunch is ready in the brown house. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.